Hey, y'all got us a little chilly day out here today in January. Uh, we've got a boathouse here that I built back again when I was a teenager. Somebody else has already purchased it and this uh, boathouse has seen its life. It's about time to upgrade it, put something a little bit bigger in for the customer for the different boats they got. But we're gonna remove this boathouse here, get it all hauled up, take to the reclamation center. And we also got a seawall right here too. I remember when I was building the boathouse when I was a teenager that the, uh, it was a pyramid, it's a pyramid style roof. And I couldn't really get the angles cutting with a skill saw because it was such a steep angle. I actually used a chainsaw to cut this whole roof in. So it's pretty interesting how this was done in the history behind it. But the seawall we got here was being put in at the same time by another company at the time, John Soul. He put that in and pretty good heavy duty seawall still there, but we're gonna come in front of it with another vinyl seawall, elevate it to match that wall on the far side over there. And then the customers are gonna come back with a swimming pool in the backyard. Boathouse demo going on right now. There's a lot of good lumber in it. Put the fingers. You want to just set half on the barge and I'll cut it? Hang on, let me get out the way. Yeah, if you're going to flip it, I got to move them tools off the pilings. All right, all right. Good job. Don't you scared of the pocket or what? Or he's cold. Look at him shaking. <laughs> Chief found his lunch. This guy just keeps hanging around us all day long. The chief's like, make one wrong move, and you're my chicken.
Got most of the vinyl sheets in, the pilings for our naval style wall. As soon as we get this corner connected up, we'll go ahead and start back with the uh, tie back system. We'll just drive those in right over to the seawall, 12 foot behind the wall. Hey y'all, thanks for watching this video. Here is the completion of this project here. We got all the retainer walls installed, the boathouse installed. It looks real good. If y'all haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you like what you see, please give me a subscription. It helps me out. And give me a like and post it and share it if you can. Thanks. Here's a little return wall. Returns back onto its property. In a few months or so, we're going to come next door here and install another wall on the other side. You can see we've kind of stopped. Got a temporary barrier there. We're going to connect onto that wall and go all the way down to that side. Got them a nice set of uh, through flow stairs down in the water for easy access where the kids can get down and play. Synthetic decking also. And here's the main dock. It's what we call our average style dock. Synthetic decking on it as well. Piling caps to dress the poles up. Also keeps them protected. The center part of the piling never really gets treated well in the pressure treating process. And then when you cut them off to level, you've exposed that pole, so you put the cap on it. Prevents the uh, center of the pole from swelling up with the rain and splitting. Also helps keep birds off of it too. This cleaning table installed on the side here. Don't interfere with the dock. The boat lift installed. Still waiting for an electrician to come and wire it up. Heavy duty boat lift here, 20,000 pound, got four motors on it. That's the type I like because it actually allows you to be able to adjust the, the boat side to side, which you don't really need to, but up and down in the back for drainage. Got all of our collar ties real high up and bolted also. The reason for that, for the bigger boats with the uh, fly bridges on it too, you can tuck your boat right up inside here. And on Bayou Tahar, you're limited to the height that you can go with these boat houses. So we try to get as much clearance, clearance as possible on them. All double bolted. We got a bolt here on a stringer and a bolt and a double cross tie down there. Really helps prevent against the uplift during storm surges. Carriage bolts on the outside. You ain't gonna worry about your boat getting hung up on them. Also, I don't extend my decking past the poles because the poles give the boat a good area to ride up down against. If you got the decking out and you're stepping off your boat, the boat could come up when you're taking weight off and get your pin. Get your foot pinched in between the boat and the bottom of the decking, which hurts pretty bad. The two foot overhangs on this boathouse, really like that. Gives you a lot of protection on the side. Shade on the boat. Super long boathouse here too. He's got a big yellow fin, I believe, one in here. Chase and his crew framed this one out and they did an excellent job. Looks really nice. This is real nice here. Got a little step down on this service walk on the outside for low tide and tie your boat up on the side right here so you ain't got to step up so high to get into the boat. And an aluminum retractable ladder on the end for getting in and out of water. Also keeps, prevents barnacle growth. Whole boat lift is a golden Sea Drive series aluminum boat lift.